Hurry up, you two. It's a beautiful day out. Ugh, I don't want to go to Italy. Suck it up, kiddo. This is the only vacation she gets. Help her enjoy it. Uncle Jim's gonna be there. Do I have to? You can sit here and whine all day, but that's not fun for anyone, is it? <sighs> you only get so much time with those you love, so cherish every second of the time you get. I know. <laughs> Tell you what, when we get back, I'll read you some more of those stories. Sound good? Sly, are you coming? Deal. Coming, Mom! The life of a world-famous thief is never lacking in variety. One minute, you're eating caviar on the Riviera. The next minute, you're smacked in the face by a pigeon with a note tied to its leg. And before you know it, you're sneaking into your own worst nightmare. My dad used to say, when your life revolves around stealing other people's dimes, don't be surprised if it turns on one every now and then. Dad wasn't the best with words, but he was the wisest man I ever knew. I wonder what he'd say if he were still alive to see his son, Sly Cooper, the world famous thief, breaking into jail. Heathrow Prison. It's hard not to feel sorry for some of the losers in here, even though a number of them have tried to kill me. After all, one day I could find myself in here, right? I mean, besides tonight that is. Time to call it a night, Ruby. Lights out in five. You too, Mugshot. Lights out, Raleigh. I'll put your light out. Lights out, McSweeney. Hey, you're not Jonesy. Officer Jonesy has the night off. Oh, that's too bad. His lullabies are the only thing that can get me to sleep on nights like this. Well, I'm not much of a crooner, but maybe this will ease your troubled mind. Hmm. Well, ain't that the darnest thing. Ha <laughs> ha, I should have tried pigeons years ago. This supposed to mean something to me, pal? Only if you're the same Big Jim McSweeney that's been trying to gain the attention of Sly Cooper for the past several weeks. Are you? You mean, am I the same Big Jim McSweeney that ran with the original Cooper gang? The same Big Jim McSweeney that used to bounce a snot nose named Sly on his knee between jobs? That's the one. Well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. How do I know you're not some ambitious wannabe with a forged calling card and a big mouth? So what we're gonna do here, Sly, is give you a little pop quiz. You give me the right answer and maybe I'll keep talking. If you're really a Cooper, I probably won't even need to ask the question. You'll fill in the blanks all by yourself. Wait a second. Is that... My father. He... That building looks... It, it reminds me of something. Did... He take me there? When I was a child? It's in there. I can feel it in the back of my mind, but... I can't remember. Sorry, kid. Looking pathetic don't earn you no points with me. Here's hoping you find breaking out of here easier than breaking in. Huh. Not that a real Cooper would ever have to worry about that. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah? You want a real Cooper? I'll give you a real Cooper. Lucky for you, I am the real Sly Cooper. A less civilized thief would have pulled out your tusks by now. <laughs> Italy. When I was three, my father took me to a city in Italy, on the Ligurian coast. 
there was a museum that looked as out of place as, well, as a walrus in a jail cell. Sly? <laughs> it really is you! <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I had known you were here, I would have busted you out years ago. Ah, <laughs> uh, that don't matter, kid. I'm fine in here. The food ain't so bad. The prison library is one of the best in the state. And besides, who'd ever think to look in a prison for an old Cooper crony? So if you don't want to escape, why send all those pigeons? That's a good question, Junior. But not the real question you should be asking. The one whose answer is so important that I had it tattooed to the palm of my hand. So I never forget. <laughs> Ain't you ever wondered what happened to your family fortune after your parents bought the farm? I mean, as a thief from a long line of master thieves, what do you figure ever happened to all that loot? Your pop was a good man. We were pretty close. <laughs> we had a decent run too. Traveling the world, showing would-be thieves just how things were done. He spoke of a secret family vault believed to hold all the collected treasures of the Cooper ancestors. <sighs> Things started getting tense just after you were born. We all decided to lay low and let things cool down. With all the heat, your pop felt your legacy wouldn't be safe unless it was truly hidden, even from himself. Then, when the time was right, it would all be revealed to you. <sighs> he was a one of a kind, that old man of yours. Good to hear that you remember that museum. That was the last time I saw him, and you for that matter. <laughs> Call me sentimental, but I thought it might be a good place to hide a map before turning myself in and taking up a permanent residence. <laughs> If you're even half the thief your father was, you'll find it in no time. Good luck, kiddo. Your pop would have been proud to see how you turned out. Hey, can I get you a sandwich? I've got one under my pillow somewhere. Now, where the heck is that darn thing? Oh, there that goes go my life, turning on a dime I again. Think you'd be able Thanks, to Dad. One, no. So here I am a week later. What? You thought I'd be in Italy hunting down that map? No pain. The Murray feels no pain. The Murray feels Well, I was, no pain. and I did. The Murray feels But things no didn't work out so well. The Murray they just got a little complicated. Hang in there, Murray. It's the third window down on the right. I'm on it, Sly. Don't worry. I won't screw this one up like I did with the Italian job. Stop kicking yourself over the Italian job, Murray. It wasn't your fault. So now we're here, trying to make sure things go better the next time around. Murray's been down on himself since the end of our last caper, when his mighty strength momentarily failed him, costing the third member of our crew the use of his legs. Now he blames himself for every little thing that goes wrong, even when it's not his fault. Coast is clear as glass, partner. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Sly. Small window, big feet. No worries, pal. Now shake it off and get into your disguise before someone investigates that noise. I've got to find a way to get his confidence back. I've already had my sponge bath for the day. Please inform the other nurses that I won't be requiring another until tomorrow afternoon. Well, that's a relief. Sly? Murray? H how did you... No time to explain, partner. We gotta get you out of here before... You okay, Bentley? I I'm sorry, Sly, but I can't. The two of you are better off without me. I'll only get all three of us apprehended the next time. Bentley... You're the only person that can keep us out of prison. Really? Are you kidding? Murray and I tried to hit a museum in Italy last week. Italy? Why? 
See, there's this map, Benly. A map that leads to my family fortune. No time to explain here. In any event, the job was a complete disaster. The Murray blames himself. Now, we were lucky enough to improvise a last minute plan to get us the map, but it should have never come to that. You're our eyes, our ears, and our brains. We really need your help, pal. All for one, and one for all, Benley. That's the only way this works. Gosh, I, I... We'll need to brainstorm a new method for me to get around in the field, but... Okay, count me in. Uh, Sly, maybe you should have left your disguise on. <laughs> Up against the wall, Koopa. You too, lady. Keep those hands where I can see them, or else. Well, well, Cooper. We've got you and your lovely pink friend here surrounded. Okay, Murray. On the count of three, I want you to grab... No. Not this time, Sly. Oh, no. When I make my move, get Bentley out of here. Go, Sly! Ah! Yeah. Oh my god! Ooh, he's gonna stay for real! Sly! Ooh. We can't just leave him here! It's unconscionable! One thing at a time. First I'll get you to safety, then I'll come back to Spring Murray. Murray, you big lug. Weren't you listening? Hey, we need more men in here now! It's all for one and one for all, or the team doesn't work. Get out of here, Sly! Go! Yeah, I'm out of here, but I'll be back. Paris, France. Interpol headquarters. The office of Carmelita Fox. Hey, Carmelita. Just a quick uh, question I had for you. Do you, um, believe in love at first sight? Now's not a good time, Winthrop. Oh, because I, um, if not, I could always walk in here <laughs> again. <laughs> what are you up to this time, Cooper? Why would a little museum in Italy draw your attention? Get it? Pretty funny joke, huh? Something just doesn't smell right about this. Sly and his crew are never this clumsy. What are you up to, Sly? Speaking of smells, I've been meaning to ask, would a rose if it was named Carmelita. Smell even sweeter than it was. I need to concentrate, Winthrop. If you're not doing anything useful, go and grab me a cup of coffee. And where's your friend Bentley? Since when did you work without your whole crew? Security alarms blare. Uh, oh, dang it. Sly and Murray scram. Oh, oh sorry, Sly. I, 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 I didn't mean to do that. Leaving a broken statue, a picture frame, and a canvas in their wake. <sighs> oh, got your coffee, Carmelita. I had to go to four different machines for the perfect roast. No thanks, I don't drink coffee, Winthrop. Do me a favor and close my door on the way out. I need to think. What are you after? This time, Ringtail. Oh, oh god, I'll get you this time, Ringtail. Good old Carmelita. Yes, I got you. I often wonder what might have happened if things were different between us. <laughs> I just told you, you look good and strive. Of course, things wouldn't be nearly as fun. And as much as I hate to say it, tonight's visit really doesn't concern her. Ten minutes later. What? What? Son of a... Freeze, Cooper! Anyone ever tell you how pretty you look when you're sleeping, Carm? Save it, Cooper. Your silver tongue has no effect on me. Actually, I'm glad you woke up. This way, I can thank you face to face. Without you, this canvas would still be kicked away in that museum. If you had looked at the back, 
you'd see it's actually a map to something that belongs to my family. And I knew if I took this canvas, or whatever it is, you'd show up here looking for it. Face it, Cooper. This time, you're going down. I guess you'll just have to shoot me then. Your bullets are on the floor over there. I took the liberty of unloading your gun while you were sleeping. Good thing I always keep a bullet in the chamber for special occasions. You're slipping, Sly. First the museum, and now the extra bullet. I'm starting to think you secretly want me to handcuff you. Maybe. Or maybe I just like watching you sleep. See you soon, Carmelita. Cooper? I'll get you, Sly! The next day. Enough's enough, people. He's out there somewhere, laughing at us behind our backs. You've all been briefed on his profile and known working methods. It's time Sly Cooper found out that we're going to have the last laugh. Back at the safe house. Benley, you're a genius. The modifications you made to that wheelchair are incredibly powerful. Yes, the upgrade should serve me well in the field. Blasters, mines, all the standard fare. Great. As soon as Murray gets back with the pizza, we can head out. This map says the vault's on an island not too far away from Hawaii. Maybe we can get a little R&R &R in before heading over. Hey Murray, check it out. Bentley's got himself all ready to go. Guys, I've been doing a lot of thinking. I can't get over feeling responsible for all the bad things that have been happening to us lately. I'm afraid that my lack of ability puts both of you at risk. And maybe next time, we won't get so lucky. But Murray, we're a team. All for one and- I know. One for all. Not one who puts his friend's lives in danger. I'm sorry, guys. I thought this through, and it's best that I left the team. You were better without me. Murray. My dad once said, you only get so much time with those you love, so cherish every second of the time you get. I find myself thinking of that quote again. Keep yourself safe, Murray. <laughs>